already know the deal I did my eyebrows off camera and for this look I'm gonna be taping the corners of my eyes with some actual tape because I really want this look to be sharp now taking my NYX jumbo pencil in the color milk I'm gonna be using this as my eyeshadow base and I'm just gonna be using a concealer brush and blending that into my skin once I've done that I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 350 M palette and I'm gonna be taking this light orange but dirty orange shade and I'm gonna be using this as my transition color and I'm just gonna be taking this all over above my crease and up into my eyebrows now for the lids I'm gonna be taking a bright yellowish orange shade and this is from the BH cosmetic foil eye so you know it's super shimmery sticking that shade I'm gonna be going from the inner corners of my eyes into the middle now I'm just being, being sure to pack this on because I really want the color to show off. Now I'm going to go in with a darker orange shade for the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm just going to be packing this on as well. And making sure that this color blends seamlessly with the first color that we put on. So that our eye, it has a gradient look and it doesn't look choppy like we just chop two eyeshadow up on our eye. You see me? Everything off a smooth and marriage and no? Harmonious. Now once I've done that, we're going to move on to wing liner. Now the tape for this makes the wing liner so easy. Even if you make mistakes, the tape will correct it. So I'm just drawing a wing right on my eye. Not too thick and not too long either. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with my black pencil. And from the edge of my wing liner, I'm going to take this and bring it and draw the line right above my crease right into the middle of my eye and this will just literally frame out the eye shape so once I've done that I'm gonna go in with some black shadow just to deepen that line so it can be fat more defined and that uh, you know we get that nice sharp look because me telling you know what I am I gonna just look mm, yes Lord so once I've done that because I don't want it to just look choppy we're gonna go in with a dark charcoal color and we're just going to use this to, to just allow the eyes to blend into the contour color do it into the transition color and then once you've done that we're just going to add our under brow highlight and of course in most of my videos I use the gold shimmer color from my take me to Brazil palette because I just feel like it works best for my skin tone and I'm just taking that under my brow and then going back in with a big fluffy brush just to make sure that the whole look is cohesive and seamless and there are no chops once we've done that it's time to remove the tape and you guys can see that my eyeliner is sharp now for this i use my be my urban decay all nighter foundation as you can see may i look like one oompa loompa look on my orange look on my blend in the background say god no so this foundation does oxidize for my highlighting routine, I use the ABH Cream Contour Palette along with the Tarte Maracuja Oil. And in all honesty, I don't know if it's that I don't know how to use the Tarte Maracuja Oil, but it doesn't work well. I feel like it thins out the concealer far too much and doesn't give me the coverage that I need. So you'll see me go back in with the concealer without the Maracuja Oil just to cover it up because it just didn't... It never give me the... It never look beat. It never does look beat. It just does look regular you know, is it me and wake up on one date and we want to look nice and sweet one day go mm -mm. yes only a me a fix up for oh nice 
So I'm going in with back with the concealer and once I've done that, it's time to contour. So my head look like a roundish, you see it? It look real round. So we're gonna go back in with that same cream contour kit in the darker colors and I'm just gonna use it to chisel out my face so my face can have all the shape and dimension and I can look, you know? Chiseled. Chiseled. So I'm gonna be setting my highlight with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I really thought this powder was just hyped up, but after getting it, I really like it. Like, I feel like it worth the money, you know? It's nice. So I'm just setting all the areas of my face that I highlighted, including my forehead and underneath my contour. And then going in with the ABH Original Contour Palette, I'm taking the lightest shade just to set all the areas that I contoured and to put some bronze and life back into my face. And then I go in with the darkest shade from the palette and just further chisel out my face, become a telenuino. Yeah, waffle. Yes, honey. And then I go in with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I told y'all I love this thing, man. I'm just going to go in and blend out those lines and contours that I created just to make sure my face is seamless and I just look like good girl. So now we're moving on to blush. I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. palette. And I'm using the orange shade from it and I'm just going to use that to bring some life and brighten up my cheeks. And on to another favorite of mine. I'm going to be using all of the colors from my Laura Gela Gilded Illuminating Palette. I love this palette, man. I'm going in back under my eyes with, a, with the same charcoal color that we used to blend to just bring some definition and tie in my entire eyes together. So to finish the look off, we're going to be going in with a brown pencil and I'm going to be using this all over my lip and then I'm going to be tapping it with the Colourpop Metallic Lipstick. I think it's the color My Jam and I'm just going to be using this to top everything off and once you do that, it's time to get your mans, honey. It is time to get your mans. So that's the look guys, it was super easy to create, right? Alright, so I and hope that, that your look. date goes awesome because he's going to tell you you look good. Mm hmm. He's going to tell you, Jesus, I'm going to face. Now you see him, go, go. Oh, Ashantelini, like show me over the face there. Yes. Alright, guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that when I upload another day of Christmas, that you can know and then you can come and you can watch and you can enjoy yourself because the video is going to be nice. Promise. Promise. Alright, guys, I'll see you in the next. Bye.